I have finally succumbed to the power of the dark side. Over the last year or so, I've begun to notice that my 2015 vintage Windows PC was not really keeping up with the demands of the latest generations of VSTs, VSTIs, and the current iteration of Cubase. So I began to think about buying a new laptop. And this came to a head when recently certain of the keys on the keyboard of my laptop stopped working. As a long time Windows user, I'm really used to Control C, Control V. And when Control V doesn't work because your V doesn't work anymore, you're a bit up a gum tree. And I have to confess, learning to do it with a right click on the mouse, whilst perfectly possible, wasn't as good as it used to be. And also there's a small detail that you can't type any words with a letter V in them if the V on your keyboard doesn't work. No, I have got around it. I have a Logitech wireless keyboard that I've had for a while because I don't like a wired mouse. I've been using a wireless mouse and they came as a combo. So it's got me around it, but it didn't alter the fact that whilst I could still use the laptop, it really was struggling. Any mix of any decent size with any number of reasonable plugins on it, and it was beginning to creak. It was time for a new PC. Now, as I said, this was a 2015 vintage laptop, a Windows laptop. 17 inch dual SSDs, 16 gig of memory. It was, at the time, the business. But it's kind of yesterday's child, a four core processor that really wasn't going any further than it had already got me. So the place I started was back on the Scan PC website. And I was looking at laptops that they were selling. And I even got as far as the 3XS Resolve pricey, but it was coming with twin SSD, 17 inch funky backlit keyboard, which frankly I didn't give much of a mind to. A Core i7 processor, 1200 series, and 64 gigs of RAM. There's nothing like pushing the boat out. And pushing the boat out, it was. Now I'd love to show you more, but unfortunately the scan website no longer has laptops like that available. I looked at graphics PCs, I looked at video PCs, but they've all suddenly vanished. Nice guys, and local to me, because they're only about 20 miles away. Brilliant PC. I'm going to continue to use it for non-music functions because I've got the external keyboard and I actually can type words with V in them. But it was time to think about buying a PC from somebody else. Now, I don't exactly know what it was I was looking for on the Steinberg website when I read this article. And that sent me into a flat spin. Now, I'm not a Windows or Die kind of guy, as I've documented before. I've used Atari's. My first venture into Cubase was Cubase 2.0 on an Atari 1024 ST, although I had had it hot rodded to give me a whopping four gig of memory. But this article, which I'm not going to go through, basically said that the way that Windows handles multiple cores within Intel processors results in clicks, pops, and if Windows 11 isn't working nicely with the latest generation of Intels, well then, let's think about an AMD Ryzen. You find a similarly spec laptop with an AMD processor and you're doing better than me. Well, 
it comes down to I'm not beholden to an operating system, but I have Cubase. I have licenses for Cubase. I have licenses for lots of plugins, all of which I needed to run. And if Windows was out of the question, Lord help me, there was only one other game in town. And that was Apple. Now, I've always had a slightly scathing view of Apple because it's a closed ecosystem. I could buy a Windows PC from a company in Bolton. You want to buy an Apple, you buy it from Apple. You can't go to somebody who puts them together for you. I think they used to call them hackintoshes at the time when you could. But now Apple have closed everything down and monopolies kind of great. However, needs must when the devil drives or when Microsoft and Intel have dropped a clangor. So I started researching the price of one of those MacBook thingies. And I soon took a left turn into something slightly different. Because truth is, this laptop hasn't moved off this desk, except when I've been polishing the desk, in pretty much all of that eight years that I've had it. So do I really need a laptop, especially as I have a second screen right above it? No, I don't. So the switch was made. I started looking at apples, but I soon discovered that because I have a second screen and because I have external uh, hardware, mouse, keyboard, there was something else something else that I could use. And that is this, the Mac Mini. A little, very little piece of kit. It just, it's about yay big. And I did all the research on YouTube. The Mac Studio with the new silicon m1 chip was just out of my price range i really didn't want to go over the two grand mark but the mac mini with the new m2 pro chip that came out i believe in january 2023 january this year was within the price range came with 32 gig of memory well, the base model comes with 16 gig, but I opted for to pay the extra for the 32 gig. I went with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage rather than the terabyte, because A, that would have pushed me close to the, the magic number. But also, I've got a small army of external SSDs here, and I figured that I was better off having a hub with a built-in drive, which is a lot cheaper than paying an extra £200 for a terabyte of built-in storage. So that's what I ordered. I went for the 10-core CPU with the 16-core GPU because I didn't need 19 cores of GPU for what I do. If I was a video editor, maybe there was a trade-off to be made, but I'm not. I do music. And there's some really interesting videos out there of people benchmarking Logic Pro sessions with 300 tracks in and running all sorts of weird and wonderful things. For me, for what I do, being a one-man band, I didn't need the power. And more to the point, there comes a point when you have to be realistic and say, how much are you going to be prepared to pay for a computer? So I ordered it. And as I speak to you now, it's actually sat underneath the camera. It's tucked away at the back corner of my desk. Came the other day, I've switched it on, I've set it up. I'm beginning to get used to the fact that the mouse has to go to the top left rather than the top right, if I want to do anything with the window. 
and I'm beginning the process of downloading and installing all of the software. There are some issues that I've got to resolve uh, to make sure that when it when I'm finished, the Mac works in the same way as the PC used to, but just works better and with less stress. And I'm going to document them in a series of videos to come. But for right now, pray for my soul. I've succumbed to the power of the dark side. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Karma will follow. And until next time, you take care of yourselves.